So why do you use a stack when you convert infix to postfix? Why is stack, right? Why a stack? Why not any other data structure? Why not, you know, a queue or a, I don't know, a vector or, um, or some other just random algorithm, right? I mean, there's probably plenty of ways to implement it. What makes, what's so great about a stack? And um, that's the point of this video. All I'm trying to do is explain is try to give you guys the intuition behind using a stack because to be honest I mean I think once you understand it it's very straightforward but when you're trying to figure it out I mean you know at least for me I thought that was a pretty tough um, concept to wrap my head around so let's get at it so let's talk about this so infix and there's postfix and why am I talking about this? Because I'm going to compare a difference between infix and postfix. What is that difference? Well, there's two differences. There's actually two big differences between infix and postfix. Two that I can think of, at least. The first one, so let's just give an example. Let's do 3 plus 2 times 4. And then we'll do 3, 2, 4 times plus. And so here's the first difference, right? The symbols are always on the right. And in infix notation, they can be in the middle. And so um, that's a big difference. But, um, but there's another one, and this is the one that's really important. This is the one that I think is, this is why you use a stack, right? Um, in infix notation, there's no order of operation. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. There is order of operation. But in postfix, but in postfix it's different. There is none. And so why does that matter? Well, think about it like this. So in this case, we have what what is the exact order that we execute these symbols in, right? In this case, we go first we or execute the plus sign, and then we execute the multiplication sign. But in postfix, we also, um, oh, oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, duh, that explains it. Okay. Oh no, come on, why does it do that? Uh, stop it. What is it doing that for? Why is it erasing this? There's probably an undo button. There we go. Okay. So back to what I was saying. Um, order of operation. So, so in this case, so which one gets executed first? Alrighty. Um, okay. So, so look at the cases, right? In postfix, we have times and we have plus. But in infix, we have plus and we have times. So notice how they're in reverse order. It's no coincidence that the first one's AB in priority and the other one's BA. In other, and basically saying plus, times, other one's times, plus. And um, the reason for that is in infix, because of order of operations, we, ha we, we execute the right one first, the rightmost operator, and then we uh, execute the leftmost. But in postfix, we always read from left to right. So this is a big thing, read from left to right. And so here's what happens. Because, of, because, because infix has um, order of operation, what that therefore means is that sometimes, you know, the symbols, we read the symbols from left to right, but other times we essentially read them from right to left. And because we read them from right to left, there needs to be a good tool that allows us to convert right to left to left to right. So basically, in other words, we need a method of converting ABC to CBA. Give me one sec. <coughs> and guess what? 
That's exactly what a stack does. In a stack, because of the lifeful element, last in, first out, suppose I put in, suppose, you know, the, suppose I'm reading left to right, and I put in each element one at a time. So first we would put in A. So we'd, we'd have A. Then we'd put in B. And then we'd put in C. And then, as we pop them out again, the order at which we pop them out would therefore be C, B, and A. And um, essentially, um, what that means is that um, stack has the power of converting your left to right notation to right to left, or right to left to left to right. Um, and so, what that means is therefore, um, you have a way of converting this, of converting this, and um, flipping it around. And that's essentially all I'm trying to get at in this video. All I'm trying to get at is essentially that because you have a stack, you have the power to flip. And um, by having the power to flip, you have the power to have all the operators le le read only from le read from left to right. And I'll add the word only. So that's the intuition behind it, to flip the operators around. So I hope that makes some sense.